We visited Buenda Church in the village in Butembe County, the constituents of Energy Minister Daudi Migereko, where jiggers have continued to pose a health threat. This is Richard Basami's home, a father of nine children whose family has been living with jiggers for close to eight years. Ngeza kubugezo kutereza, aye ngembeira, mfunza, aa, dikaremi. We found two of his children in pain, with feet that one can barely look at. The jiggers have eaten away part of their flesh and nails. The pain is evident in the way they walk. Even though Basami has continuously removed the jiggers from his children, he is puzzled by the consistent infestation which he claims is a family inheritance. Because as a father who cares for his family, he narrates that he has spent all his money on treating the jiggers but in vain. He says the challenge that this troubled man faces is that the children remain silent about their situation in fear of being bullied and teased by their friends. Eventually, when the health condition worsens, these children fail to go to school, retarding their education. But it is not only the children affected. Basami is also recovering from the infestation. He got better after receiving some medicine from the area MP Daudi Migereko. NTV caught up with the Honorable Daudi Migereko over the health crisis in his constituents. Migereko admitted that the jiggers continue to pose a challenge, but adds that the efforts have been made to wipe out this problem. Because uh, if I spray in my constituency and uh, neighbors have not done the same thing, uh, when people visit the neighboring constituencies and come back, or when neighbors come and visit us, they will come and uh, bring back the, jig the jiggers uh, that uh, we thought we had eliminated. But it is not only jiggers afflicting this village. The poverty situation is also worrying. For this father of nine, the floor is the only bed that the children can afford to have some sleep. Sleep is the least of their problems. These children have barely had a meal. Basami told me that they have spent two weeks without having a hot meal. They have since resorted to eating fruits, including jackfruit and mangoes, for lunch and foregoing dinner. <coughs> the 46-year-old also told me that although he has invested his energies in farming, the harvests have been disappointing. Although usually soft-spoken, Minister Migereko raised his voice against the mentality of the people in his constituents, which he says has kept them poor. Everybody says the member of parliament has not provided seed, government has not provided seed. I, I think we need to go back to the basics and uh, be in a position to inculcate in our people's minds uh, the culture of uh, looking after themselves, the culture of families supporting themselves. Migeriko also says that a lot has been done to fight poverty in his constituents. We've given out 30,000 coffee uh, seedlings 
I've given out mango planting materials, orange planting materials. The bulk of them have not been planted. And when you ask, nobody is prepared to furnish you with a convincing explanation. And I think that really lies at the root of our problem.